Once a safe haven for the homeless. Now the clothes hanging here have nobody to wear it. The facility not only offered a meal, but also tried to restore the dignity of the destitute by providing clothes and a place to wash. But the lockdown put paid to their efforts. So we cook for about 60 people, 60, uh, 160 less fortunate people in the town area alone. And that is on a daily basis from Monday to Friday. So the people that used to come here cannot come here for a meal anymore or to be clothed or to be washed because of the restrictions with level three. The lockdown changed the game for a number of people in the town. Temporary jobs evaporated overnight. A lucky few are now only starting to work again. Level five, I was just staying at home because of the corona thing. I, I was afraid of that because I love my family and friends. At level four, we're going back to work and I love my work. Residents deem the restriction necessary to stop the spread of the virus. Wherever you go, you do not enter without getting sanitized and a mask. Even in spaza shops, you can't go in without a mask. So I think people have adhered to regulations. Yes, um. She says she tries to wear a mask all the time and she uses a hand sanitizer. Cradock has a population of just over 35,000 people. At this stage, Less than 1% of the town's population is infected. Anda Ngonji, SABC News, Credoc.